our Warranty for Christ supporters. Thanks for watching our monthly vlog. Uh, so I'm Beth and I'm staff worker for Penketh West Warrington and I have Penny, the amazing Penny, who is one of the young people I work with, but not only that, she is a young leader, she is amazing, she's actually leading one of our programmes with the young people, she's an absolute inspiration, and I wish actually we could tell your story here at some point, that'd be amazing, um, but Penny's got some insight, I've got a few questions for Penny about um, young people and church, and I thought it might interest some of our viewers, so, Penny, yes. question, um, we've had lots of chats about this before, mm -hmm. about young people and maybe what might feel like a bit of a, a gap um, for the church and young people feeling like they're a part of it. Yes. Um, what would be your advice, maybe a pastor, a vicar or somebody who's passionate about integrating young people into their local church community, what are some bits of advice you would give them to kind of make integration mark. right um number one biggest thing literally mm -hmm. talk to us listen to us and engage with us Good. we are still human we are capable of intelligent conversation and we want that we want to connect with adults we want um to speak with you and we want to learn from you as well we don't just want to tell you what we think we want to hear from you as well and find out what you think on certain things we might have completely different opinions we're from different generations but mm -hmm that gap can sometimes benefit a conversation because it keeps things rolling. Um, two, make things relevant to us. We are not of the same generation, like I said. We are very different, but you can actually use that. Take what you see, you're from the outside, you see what we do. It's not hard to make it more relevant. YFC are doing it regularly um, at their Fuse events and what they're doing in the different schools bring about conversations which are relevant to us um, and make it engaging I think is the biggest thing I'd say. That's really cool. Cool, so that was amazing. So next question is why do you think, Penny, that churches um, here in Warrington, why do you need to invest in young people? Because we have a lot to offer. Like mm -hmm. uh, I've said already that it's different generations and we know our people we know everything from the pop culture references to what's going on in the media we know what interests our people and we can help kind of cross a gap between them so young people who are already christians like myself we can kind of bridge a gap especially within communication where if you want to give a preach about Beth, give me a random topic. Um, social media. If you want to give a talk about social media, yeah. it is not enough to just go, it's bad, you're going to get bullied, don't do it. Mm. It's not going to work. Whereas if you then have a young person to give their insight, you can create something that is actually going to speak to young people mm. and, again, be relevant to them. This is the biggest thing, to just keep coming back to what is relevant to these people. Mm. Don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again that used to work. That's really good. I like that. You're speaking from here, Penny. Amazing. Um, so I think, I mean, I'll, I'll big up Penny here a little bit because like I said before, she's helping us so much in our youth club and just with the young people we've been working with. And it's so true, like, even though I'm a young youth worker, Penny and her testimony when she shared it was so powerful and reached those young people in a way that I, I couldn't. Um, honestly, it really, really changed some other young people's lives. So I think it's so important. It's true. Really it's what? true. Oh, but, um, <laughs> but I think it's so important that we do involve young people in mm. our decision making and, and especially in how to reach young people. Yeah. Penny's got amazing insight into how to do that, how to be relevant. Um, so I hope that's encouraged you guys. Um, not only have we got amazing young people here in Warrington who are passionate about Jesus, passionate about reaching their generation, um, and we also have a resource that Penny, Penny's also working, sorry, big enough Penny, um, that Penny's working on, that National Youth for Christ have um, kind of just released, it's a free resource, uh, it's called SYNC, which is uh, kind of connecting young people 
um, to share the gospel with their friends. So it's like peer evangelism. It's an amazing resource. I will put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, so good things are happening with young people in Warrington. Yeah. And I encourage you to take on Penny's advice, listen to your young people, um, and involve them in that decision making process. So thanks for listening. We'll say bye. Bye. Thank you.